Now, Mo Bamba has definitely been one of the biggest breakout records in hip-hop the last few months. It initially got released back in June 2017, but it really only started taking off around a year ago when the music video got released. Fast forward one year later, the song is sitting at over 130 million views on YouTube, along with over 280 million streams on Spotify. So you know what? Since it's been way overdue, let's talk about Mo Bamba. Is it just me or does everybody kind of hate Mo Bamba yet everyone is listening to it? The crazy amount of hype vibes this track is giving off is kind of crazy. That's hands down the biggest aspect as to why it's been seeing so much success. The lyrics on the song is the last thing anyone is really paying attention to. Shekwesh did a great job at capturing people's attention on the first listen which is usually something that happens with rap songs that do make it this far. That's exactly what happened to me when I heard it for the first time. Even though he's not saying much or anything at all for that matter, my first listening experience was very much memorable. There's been a lot of comparisons made between this track and Chief Keef's Finito, which unlike Mo Bamba is literally a floor breaker. Students were dancing and jumping to a song by the rapper Chief Keef. It turns out the jumping apparently contributed to the floor collapse at Clemson. It all comes down to the energy both of these records are giving off, but if we're gonna be completely honest, Mo Bamba is really just a Walmart version of Finito. Even though it's reached such a big audience in such a short amount of time, I don't think it's anything more than a hit song. Don't get me wrong. I think the song definitely has has its purpose and it does serve that purpose well, but I just can't see anyone looking back on it years from now and praising it for real with a straight face. But then again, don't let me kill the vibe because it ain't that serious. People listen to it because they like the raw and very in your face energy it's giving off and that's pretty much about it. I put up this tweet on my Twitter asking for your honest opinions on the track. Let's go through a couple tweets and I'll give my perspective on what everyone has to say. So my man Ryan says, total banger, but can't take it seriously. This is exactly how I feel about it 100%. I mean, we shouldn't even be attempting at making Mo Bamba something that it's not aka a serious record because it's far from that. But then again, even though it's filled with that carefree and fun vibe, somehow the memes have ruined the song for me to the point of me not even being able to listen to the song with a straight face. Which actually brings me to another tweet by Stupid Demix who says, It's a banger but it got overplayed and the memes ruined it. Oh yes, the song is definitely, definitely, definitely overplayed. And the whole conversation about memes ruining a song, I don't think memes can single-handedly just ruin a song straight up for me personally at least. Now I did say around 30 seconds ago that the memes ruined the song for me, but let me explain exactly what I'm talking about here. What I'm trying to say is there has to be some kind of flaw with the song to begin with, which Mo Bamba definitely has because I don't think the song has any kind of replay value at all and it gets boring after a while, so there's that. But let's move on to the next tweet, which comes from Draco who says, people who hate on this hate more on the fact that people are so obsessed with it rather than any fault or general dissatisfaction with the track itself. It is a simple, raging, and incredible catchy trap classic. I think one really good point was made by my mans here. I've seen a lot of people who aren't really dissatisfied with the song itself, but they complain about it just because it's the thing to do. You know the whole bandwagon wave on social media of just hating on stuff for no real reason? Kind of like people made memes about J. Cole and said that he was absolute trash and some of them were actually serious. Those those kind of bandwagons. Mo Bamba has definitely been a victim of it, but then again, I don't think it's for no reason at all. Because to keep it real, number one, I think it's far from a trap classic, and it's not like Sheck West is doing anything we haven't seen being done. Don't get it twisted though, because he is unique as far as a character goes, in the sense that he has a very colorful personality and he shines through in his music in general. In terms of being a rapper, he's extremely charismatic and he knows how to translate that charisma into a rap song, which is something a lot of people can't do. That in itself is a skill and I think so many people are gravitating towards him for that reason. I mean, that's why I was interested in hearing more about him after the song started blowing up and that's why Travis Scott himself decided to sign him to his Cactus Jack imprint on good music. What I'm trying to say is there's definitely a lot of good reasons to dislike the song, but then again, if you can't put it into words and elaborate on why you think the way you think, then just like Draco said, you're kind of hating for the sole purpose of hating and that's just it. But let's check out one more tweet and this one is from Awad who says, it's one of those songs that you need to be in a certain place or mood for. It's bad when you listen to it by yourself, but when you're at a party, then you forget how bad it is because of the energy. And that's pretty much Mo Bamba in a nutshell. It's good as background music. Nothing more, nothing less. This entire conversation of the track not being taken seriously kind of reminds me of Ultimate by Denzel Curry. You know, the, and I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but the bottle flip song. The internet really turned an actual good lyrical rap song into nothing but a meme that now makes people think about flipping bottles. The internet, I fucking hate you. I know I'm gonna be contradicting myself a little bit here, but this song was definitely ruined by the memes. Even though it did give Denzel Curry an outlet for his music to be found, it didn't really benefit him as much as you would think just because people heard the bottle flip song and didn't
didn't even attempt at checking out his other amazing music, otherwise he would have been way bigger, trust me. That's one of the biggest issues with songs being taken as a joke, especially when they don't deserve to be taken as one, just like in Denzel Curry's case. But yeah, that's what I personally have to say about Mo Bamba by Sheck West. And now I want to ask you, what do you personally think about this song? Are you a part of the I hate Mo Bamba crew or do you actually like the song? Definitely let me know in the comment section below and let's have a discussion about this.